Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my makeup inventory for this year. I did one last year, uh, which I also recorded, and I can link it up here, I think. I think it's this side. Uh, and I thought I will do it again. I'm maybe a bit later than I wanted um, in recording this, because we are already in March. But I just didn't get around to it. But I did do it, uh, or I'm still kind of posting it on my Instagram, which I have a separate one like for um, makeup inventory and like hitting pan on makeup items. So I'm going to link it in the description if you're into that kind of content. And there basically I posted pictures of each of the categories. So what I'm going to do is I have those pictures on my phone and I'll be posting them on this side and then we're going to go through and we're going to discuss whether I went up or down in my numbers and um, based on the images. So let me start with the first picture, which is going to be uh, foundations. Because I don't use primers, like uh, I think at some point I had some primers, but it's really not for me. So um, I just use like skincare basically as a first step if I need to. Okay. So what you're looking at now, I have um, one loose, like mineral foundation, then one powder foundation, which actually, the one from Everline, which actually I dropped it a couple of days ago, and it had a mirror inside, and the mirror shattered, so that's now out of my collection, because yeah, the mirror pieces were like in the foundation, so that's just, I don't want to risk this on my face. But I do want to repurchase it at some point um, this year, so it will remain the same amount of items. And then, for my actual like foundation, is the Felicia one. It's a Polish brand, and it's a natural foundation. Um, it is expiring, I think, at the end of this month. So I have it in my project pan, and I want to use it as much as possible before it expires, basically. So we'll see how far I get, how far I will get, basically. Then I have a BB cream from Misha, which, to be honest, that's kind of like my everyday foundation in a way. Like, I don't really want much coverage. Like, for example, today I'm wearing concealer, um, like, under my eyes, with my chin, and that's it. Like, no foundation. So that's kind of my go-to, definitely for summertime. So uh, there's that. And then I have the Max Factor. A stick foundation which has actually okay it has a primer on the other side but I really don't use it like it's pretty bad and the foundation looks really thick I think it's gonna be declutter at some point so yeah moving on to concealers I have four liquid ones and one pot concealer out of the four liquid ones I I do prefer well my favorite one is the true skin uh, concealer but I have, um, the shade I have is too dark for me. I bought it to kind of like bronze up my face, more like, yeah, contour, for contour it's too light for me. So it's kind of like, what do I do with it? <laughs> but at some point I will use it up, hopefully more in the summer when I get a bit of a tan. But that's my favorite one in terms of formula. The other ones are okay. The one on the right, the Eveline one, I haven't tried yet. So we'll see how that goes. Ah uh, yeah, of course with foundations I forgot to tell you what my number was last year, which was exactly the same. Also five foundations, although they were different. For my concealers, last year I had six, now I have five, so went down by one. Now for pressed powders, I had three apparently last year, and now I have seven. <laughs> So, yeah. But I think majority, um, I'm looking at my phone because that's one of the pictures for me. Majority is Belle, uh, which is a Polish brand that I can get in a, in a store, like a supermarket. And they come out with like those limited edition ones, kind of, to be honest. And some of them are very nice and they're very inexpensive. So I just bought a few to try it out, see how I feel about them. That's why I have so many this year. But actually I'm okay with it because I'm trying to find like my perfect uh, powder. Then for loose powder, um, I had four, I also still have four. 
although they're different. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember, I think last year I had one from Glam Shop and here it was replaced by the Paesa one. I think so. My battery died, but I am back. Um, not sure what I was saying. Something about the powders. I think that the Catrice True Skin one is uh, so far my favorite. Um, the Ecotera one, I, I'm not gonna repurchase it. It's just too... It doesn't look that nice on my skin. I feel like it enhances the dryness. So yeah, but um, still on the lookout for the best one. <laughs> As far as um, bronzing contouring products, I had three last year and now I have five, which yeah, makes sense. Okay, I have um, four powder bronzers and I have a contouring stick from Kiko Milano, which I have currently also in my project pan. The Paesa bronzer will be done this year 100%, so that will be out. And again, I also not really attached to a bronzer, like I'm not like, that's my favorite one, so I'm still on the lookout for that. Uh, for blushes, I used to have three, now I have two, which makes sense because I don't wear blush really. And if I do, it's usually, it's usually as an eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, I can see this being zero at some point, this uh, uh, category. Uh, then for my highlighters, so last year I had five, this is gonna be complicated, I had one palette with highlighters and I still have the same one, it works very well, it's a couple of years old but it's still going strong, so I still have it. I had one liquid one, which again, still the same, and then I had uh, five powder ones and now I have three powder ones. And I must say, neither of these three are really my favorite. Again, like I really, uh, the best one I have is the Golden Rose palette so far. So, um, so there's that. But I think also last year I had like a, a category of face palettes because I also had like a um, contouring bronzing palette from Makeup Revolution. I don't have it this year, so that's why the palette is now part of the highlighters. If that makes any sense. <laughs> for my loose, not loose, for my single eyeshadows, I used to have 14. Uh, now I have 15. Uh, but also, if you see on the picture, there's like an inglot uh, palette that you put together yourself. So the four shadows were in like a smaller palette. So I used to count as a palette, but that's not true because I bought them all separately. So it's 19 and that basically is the number we're going on, off, from now on. Um, what can I say about these shadows? I mean, you can kind of tell what my favorites are. Like, the shades that I go for are kind of similar. Uh, very neutral, uh, like more wearable shadows. Um, so I'm happy with that. For eyeshadow palettes, I used to have 7, now I have 8. Um, and I can see probably like one or two of these being decluttered this year, I think, because I am not really using it. But um, yeah, I think it's still a good number. I'm okay with having eight eyeshadow palettes. For lip liners, I used to have four, now I have five. Uh, I used one up and I bought two. I bought one more of these Ethos ones because I like them. And then I bought one from Eveline, which I haven't tried yet. So I'm curious about that. So, I had the Wicon uh, one, the one at the top, I um, just used up. It kind of, I was using it up and then broke on me, so I just kind of decluttered it. So I have one less actually. For lip balms and lip, lip glosses, I used to have four, now I have six. I do enjoy all of these, so again, I'm okay with it. Then for lipsticks, I used to have 9, now I have 11, which this I'm not okay with because I don't really wear lipstick. So, but I do think at least two are expiring um, this year, so it's gonna go, like they're gonna go. But I need to be more, like when I 
purchase makeup like kind of be in my head like you don't need any lipstick because you don't use it and if you do it's always the same color anyway so there's that for lipsticks um, let's see what else I have left um, lip liners mascaras I used to have how many mascaras I used to have five and now I have seven mascaras out of which two are already done I think or almost done so it's not really typical for me it's mascara and um, the one on complete right is like a primer slash conditioner kind of a thing so six mascaras so um, I'm okay with this because I was kind of trying out different uh, formulas from different brands but um, I usually try not to have more than two open at the same time just to not waste them basically and now for brow products I used to have five and now I have eight um, which half of it is the same product just well, I have multiples of it because that's one of my favorite things for my brows it's the Eveline micro brow pencil yeah micro precise brow pencil that's the one um, the Piazza brow star is like a soap thing I haven't tried that yet so I'm curious um, again I'm fine with it because half of it is the same thing that I just have backups of which I purchase when I go uh, when I go to Poland basically and I think one random thing is I have like a body highlighter why I ask myself the self, the, self, the self question the self question what language is that <laughs> the same question and I have three um, primer sprays slash setting sprays again why who knows I think nobody understands this and the last but not least is like a, um, a mix of things so from left to right is I have one eyeliner which I am pretty sure I used to have like at least two or three then um, it's a liquid eyeshadow which is the same one I had last year as well I have black eyeliner which I from time to time try to use it again Usually it doesn't work, <laughs> but I tried it because it wasn't a good promo and I've heard good things about it, so it's just kind of for me to play around. And then I have like a loose pigment kind of a thing, situation, which I haven't uh, tried yet, so I don't have any opinion about it. But it was uh, very inexpensive, so I think it's fine. Just checking if I missed anything, but I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna put on the screen because I don't know out of my head how many makeup items in total I had last year and how much I have this year. I do think I went up slightly, mainly because of the powders and the way I'm counting eyeshadows from now on. But I am doing well with using things up. Uh, and like I said, also a few things are expiring. So I think I'm keeping it at an okay level, to be honest for my standard at least. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was a bit later than maybe planned. But uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.